back for another run for Retrothon. This is The Little Mermaid for the NES, part of the Disney Capcom classics, as we've seen. Um, so I'm going to get started here, give a quick countdown, and then we'll go. And we'll go in three, two, one, go. So this is a really fast run. Uh, the stages themselves are very straightforward. So uh, the, really, the uh, the most interesting parts of the speedruns are the are the uh, the boss fights. There we get our first and only power up, which allows us to bubble enemies in one hit rather than two. So shoutouts to uh, Takate there with an awesome Chippendale run. How's everybody doing today? We get some RGL loves in the chat. If you guys have them. For an awesome marathon so far. Alright, this is the first boss. This is the only boss we can actually manipulate. So we don't move until it starts, so we get three fish here. We're gonna bubble this fish and just wait right here. And that'll allow us to get the last two hits in easy peasy. And that's the first boss. You know what's great about this game? Because everybody's favorite levels in games are water levels, right? I think we can all agree on that. This game is all water levels. It's awesome. <laughs> and there we go. See those loves in the chat. I love this marathon so much. What is what has been uh, people? What have, what have you guys have been uh, favorite runs have been so far? Which one, which ones have you liked so far? Yeah. Oops. All water levels. So again, it's pretty straightforward through the stages. Uh, Ariel moves fastest when you're going straight up and down or straight left and right, so we will try to um, keep our movement as, as straight as we can. Got that hidden little shell there to clear these enemies. Okay, this boss is tough. There's two eels here. We have to bubble these crabs to throw into the eels. Uh, it's random where the eels will spawn and where the crabs will spawn. And also when the crabs will be able to, uh, bubble the crabs. <laughs> so this fight is just, uh, kind of a pain. Playing it a little safe here. Oops, missed that hit. Yeah, this is not the best fight, but it's good enough. <clears throat> this too many to the list? Yeah, I know. I know. Isn't it? This is the best marathon. It's awesome. You can never beat this game? Yeah. Well, the problem is when you take a death, too, you lose all your power-ups. Okay, th now, this is the worst boss in the run. The, the walrus boss here. Uh, not because of its difficulty, because it's just pure RNG. So he can either throw an ice cube or a shell. You need the shells in order to damage the boss. But it's random whether he throws an ice cube or a shell. So we want to see him throw shells. Instead of ice cubes. <laughs> the eels are still the worst. The eels are by far the hardest fight in the game, yeah. <clears throat> we got we got we still got a few more days left of marathon guys. We we got a we got a long way to go. Shout out to all the RGL team members for putting this on and keeping this going all week. And to all you guys, all the runners here too. For showcasing all your awesome speedruns. Okay, we got two shells. That's pretty good. One ice. Okay, that's pretty good. Now if he goes shell shell, that's really good. Okay. Okay. I think I think that's the best. I think that's the best you can get, honestly. All right. Wow. Look at that. <clears throat> yeah, ice cubes that sink. Yeah. The the the, the physics aren't really uh aren't really there in this one. No, it's a Disney. It's a Disney game, so I guess they can get away with it. Anyways, this is the next level. This is probably the hardest level. <laughs> None of the levels are really that difficult because, again, like this this part right here is a little difficult. There we go. You just do a little back and forth to avoid that shrimp. But otherwise, again, just straight up, down, left, right. All, all the stages are very just uh, very easy. 
This is a super easy speedrun to get into too, so if, if if anybody's like between projects or you know, maybe maybe you're looking to speedrun for the first time, but you're looking for something easy to get into, this is the perfect one. It's very short, it's super easy to learn. You can get a pretty decent time and really not that much effort too. Alright, this is the seahorse, so we can either shoot fish or urchins. We want fish. Okay, that's good. We need one more fish to finish the fight. And we got it. There it is. Man, we are getting some good luck here today. This is amazing. This is your first feet? Yeah, see? There you go. Teeny tiny feet, that's right. Hey, Janie. Mermaid? Yeah, you guys are- yeah, we'll start a mermaid. Yeah, I, I like it. I like where you're going with that. Alright, next stage. Second to last stage here. Um, this stage was intended to be a little bit of a maze. We solved that easily by pushing A three times, and there we go. <laughs> we gotta jump out of the water a little bit here. Okay, ooh, we got the shell stuck in there, nice. It's always fun when that happens. So just a lot of deliberate movement, again, just to avoid enemies and to try to keep a straight line as much as possible. Alright, we'll see what kind of luck we get on this boss. So this is the second to last boss, go whoop. Second to last boss coming up here. Uh oh. Didn't want to take damage there, I gotta be careful. Uh, so this is Ursula 1. So, uh, Ursula can spawn several different things here. Uh, we can only bubble the fish and the seahorses. So that's what we're looking for. Uh oh, I gotta be super careful now. Just stop talking for a second. I really need to not die here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Oh, that's scary. Oh, God. Okay, we did it. <laughs> that was super scary. Oh, my God, my heart. All right. <laughs> so there's the second... The, the last boss. Uh, time will be on the last hit once you start shaking. Uh... So this is Ursula 2, or Ursula Major, as I like to call her in my split. I'm a nerd. Okay. So the, the, there's three fish that come uh, either from the left or the right. She changes the way the current goes, too. You can see that at the bottom there, those little... I don't know what they're called, algae leaves, maybe? I don't know. Alright, one more hit, I think. Oop. And that's time. That was super fast, guys, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, little astronomy pun. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> well, that was that was really good. That was pretty good. We got some good luck. We had a near death experience. Awesome. All right, this is the best part of the speed run, though. I, I can't do any Little Mermaid speed run without without doing this. So, King Triton saw that his daughter was in love and cast a spell on her to make her human once again. Teen Titan feet. Get those teeny tiny little toothpick feet. Alright. <laughs> uh, thank you all for the GG's. Thank you again to RGL uh, for letting me do a few runs here. I'll be back tomorrow for my for my final run, but 